What's good, Skins fan? It's your man, Ed Oliver. Not the one from the Bills, but the one that is a huge Skins fan. <laughs> That's good, y'all. So, breaking news. I, I shouldn't be, I'm not really smiling. I'm not really laughing, but I know a lot of people are happy from what I've seen already on Twitter and stuff. People are super, super excited that Mason Foster got cut. Um, shout out, I forgot, I forgot who told me. Um, I think it was Pedro Smith on, on, on Twitter and somebody else. Um, I think it was Enel and Brescia. We always go back and forth on the gram too. For I'm 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 sorry. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start the Instagram group chat. I'm gonna start a Instagram. I'm gonna start a Redskins Instagram group chat pretty soon. I've been on and off Instagram for real. So if I reply late to the messages, you know I've been trying to take a little break from social media here and there because you know I've been trying to focus on other things and stuff. A lot of things going on, but um. The YouTube group chat definitely. I am gonna start that pretty soon. Redskins fan only. Redskins fans only, and I will start a Twitter. I mean, a, um, a uh, not a Twitter, an Instagram group chat. Redskins fan only as well. So I'm gonna start those up pretty soon. Sorry about that, guys. Um, training camp is on Saturday. Uh, sorry about that. that's when I'm going. But wow, the moves have started already, man. Bruce Allen's playing no games, man. He's playing no games. You can say goodbye to Mason Foster. Mason Foster has been released cut snip snip whatever you want to call it man I, I thought mason foster stopping the run he was decent he got a lot of tackles and stuff like that but pass coverage he was just awful he was slow as a slow as a snail slow as a tortoise a turtle slow as a freaking turp slow he's just slow slow as dirt man slow as dirt mason foster couldn't cover couldn't catch a cold or cover anything i'm sorry he just couldn't do it um, there were some things that he was good at. There were some things that he just wasn't really good at. And he did lose weight. I heard he lost weight and stuff like that. Was really trying to improve in um, pass coverage and, you know, catching running backs who run out the backfield, different things like that. Um, so um, I'm I'm not happy about this cut, but it is what it is. You know, I know you guys heard the reports about Trent Williams with the holdout. We, we heard about the holdout a couple months ago. What was that, a month ago or two months ago that he was going to hold out? We all knew this was going to happen with Trent Williams, that he was not – going to report to training camp. So that's not breaking news at all to me. And then uh, we all know about Scherf being very far from the extension. Now, cutting Mason Foster frees up $4 million in cap space. It doesn't sound like a lot of money, but I guess it can help us a little bit. I feel like somebody, another veteran is going to be cut, um, you know, and not make the team. You know, people are throwing out Vernon Davis's name. So I don't know about that. Now, the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of cutting Mason Foster is just because of death. We don't have a lot of death. Now, two guys that I know that need to step up now is Josh Harvey Clemens, Sean Dion Hamilton, and I guess Cole Holcomb might step up and get some more playing time. And I like, I like, like I said, I like John Bostich. I like John Bostich. I like watching his film and his highlights. That guy can hit. He's going to go out there and he's going to hit somebody. He's definitely going to hit stick somebody. I like John Bostich a lot. I like that pickup of John Bostic. I really do. That's a good, that was a good sign. And when Ruben got injured, that was a huge sign. And now, like I said, Ruben being injured and, you know, just not having a lot of death, JP Finley. Now the report was first reported by Aaron Hart Hawksworth. So we'll give her her credit. I didn't want to trust her at first until I saw JP Finlay tweet out, you know, yes, per Aaron Hawks Hawksworth that Mason Foster was released. Um, shout out to Hitcher Shots. He just commented on my other video saying that Mason Foster was released. Thank you for the information, guys. I appreciate you guys always hitting me up, letting me know what's going on so, you know, I can be locked in as well. So I got my skins gear on too, too today. So it's not like I knew that something was going to happen today. I just felt, I felt, I felt it in my bones. Some news was going to happen. I just felt it, man. It's never really a quiet day for the Redskins. I'm telling you, there's always always something going on going on so let me know what y'all think man let me know what y'all think about this releasing about this move um does it help us get space to sign you know to resign to make an extension with Scherf? does it help us with uh, uh being um you know moving along with trent williams progressing in that area do you think him cutting him and then cutting another veteran somebody else you know like i, I do not want to cut vernon davis but you know, if they really trust Donald Parham and they feel like Jeremy Sprinkle can develop and get better, 
then, you know, because right now they're saying, yes, we believe in Josh, Josh Harvey Clemens. They're saying right now, yes, we believe in John Bostich. Yes, we believe in maybe Cole Holcomb's development. You know, we believe in those other guys. So we're gonna, just going to let go of a captain in Mason Foster. And I feel like Vernon Davis, vocally, he can be like a captain at times. And he's a big veteran presence in the locker room and on and off the field. So I would hate to see him get cut. But, you know, if they really want to hang on to Trent and Scherf, they got to make some financial moves here. And it's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, it's a business. We cannot let two all-pro tackles leave this team. It just can't. It cannot happen, man. Can't happen. And uh, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to talk about here, man. Just, 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 oh, my gosh. Football season is almost here, man. Crazy stuff's going on. Football season is almost here, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Like I said, I, I'm, um, I just got a hotel with my guys. Um, two or three of my friends should be going with me to trade camp at Richmond. So I will be there Friday night too. So if y'all want to link up, whoever lives in Richmond, let me know, man. We can go to a bar or whatever, chop it up, you know, just chill, whatever, man, for real. If you live in the Richmond area, let me know. I will be there Friday night and then Saturday morning. Of course, I'm going to the practice. So it's going to be super duper lit, man. It's going to be super lit I can't wait, man. I can't wait. But like I said, the transactions, the moves, uh, don't forget about Trey Boston. My guy, Trey Boston. You know, everybody knows when somebody gets cut from the Redskins, like Zach Brown, they always end up with the Eagles, Giants, Cowboys. Watch Mason Foster go to the Giants or the Eagles. Just, I already know. We're already going to hear. By the end of the day, by the end of this week, Adam Schefter is going to tweet, oh, Mason Foster signing with the Eagles. I already know that's going to happen. Watch. It's going to be him and Zach Brown. On the Eagles, they're going to talk a whole bunch of stuff. We already know a tweet or Instagram, Mason Foster. I thought if you're going to cut DJ Swearinger, then I feel like the Mason Foster cut probably should have been made earlier, in my opinion. You know, especially when we signed Ruben Foster. But, you know, if you want to discipline guys for like DJ Swearinger for calling out coaches, calling out fans, calling out the culture or whatever. Mason Foster did that numerous times, not once, but a couple times on social media. So, you know, that's why that's what pisses me off about the DJ Swearinger cut releasing as well, because you got to discipline everybody the same way. And, and yeah, I know DJ Swearinger went public. So did Mason Foster. You know, DJ Swearinger did, did, you just didn't say it in a microphone. Mason Foster got caught saying it on Twitter, Instagram, saying something about coaches. But it is what it is. Let's move on. Let's try to be positive about this situation. Let's, you know, next man up, young guys, step up. Let's go, Josh Harvey Clemens, I'm rooting for you. Sean Dion Hamilton, I'm rooting for you. John Bosch's, let's get this money, man. Next man up, let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. Let's go. Let's get this cap space, too. So I got a feeling more moves are going to be made, man. It's going to be a crazy season, man. And a lot of stuff on the way. I will be live streaming during some preseason games. I will be doing that because, we, I, like I said, I do want to sit down and analyze Dwayne Haskins moves during the game. So, you know, I will be there. We can chop it up during the live chat or whatever. I can go back and forth with y'all and talk with y'all. So that's going to be super lit. I will be live streaming the first half, uh, not the whole game, because I, I so, I'm sorry, I can't watch third string and fourth string guys play. I'm sorry, I can't do it. But I will be live streaming during, you know, Dwayne Haskins and Case Keenum. We got all eyes on Case Keenum and Haskins. You know, we'll watch a little bit of Colt McCoy, not really. And not, I don't really care about Josh Woodrum, even though a lot of guys have said a lot of good things about Josh Woodrum. Um, so, you know, maybe, hey, I might sit down and check him out. Probably it won't be live while, while Josh Woodrum is out there. But, you know, the Browns game, August 8th, yes, sir, I will be trying my best to be live for that game. Um, at least the first at least the first half. I just want to see Haskins and Keenum really play. I don't really care to see Cole McCoy play because Cole McCoy is the preseason MVP. We already know what he does in, 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 in preseason. He, that man, be, Cole, Cole be looking like freaking, not Tom Brady, he be looking like, he be looking crazy good out in preseason. So, but uh, like I said, those are the things coming up. I will be live streaming during the preseason. This is the first preseason where I've been hyped for, like, in forever, man. I'm telling you, I can't. I actually cannot wait for preseason football. I'm so hyped for Redskins preseason football. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I, and I can't wait. I just can't wait. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. I can't wait. We've been waiting for football so long. Oh, my gosh. Woo! I can't wait. All right, y'all. Hell to them skins. Hell to them wizards. Let me know what y'all think about Mason Foster getting cut. Was it a good move or a bad move? Let me know what y'all think. All right, y'all. Peace.